I'm just back from B&M where I got some more great bargains. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. Well, yeah, mostly it's a happy place. Get down please, but <laughs> occasionally I get my wig off. Like when Bert decides he's had enough of eating wool, he'll move on to my flipping Birkenstocks. <laughs> if your life is full of issues like that, please do join me. Give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and leave a comment. Can you believe he did that? They're my favourites. I mean, they're about 65 or 70 pounds, Birkenstocks. They're not cheap. But this particular pair, admittedly, I've had them a few years, but they've done me proud, and they still had so much wear in them. But yeah, since I've put everything woolen up and out of the way, he's progressed to my sandals. It's a good job I love him. That's all I can say. It's a good job I love him. Anyway, so I need to go to B&M for a few bits and pieces for uh, the house, for some food, for a few bits and pieces. So guys, I know for some of you, it seems really rude that I'm going shopping, but I'm sorry. I do occasionally. I only go out once or twice a week. Again, I know pandemic, all that sort of business, but I am taking care of my mother, my daughter, my three grandchildren. Um, I do all the shopping. We live rural, so we have to travel to do shopping. Um, if we can't get a slot, and by golly, we can't get a slot. Um, and so what I do is I tend to do several shops in one day and get it out of the way. So this one is B&M. And I'm sorry if I upset anyone. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, because of the sandals this was why I went oh, I wanted some sort of storage that could sit nicely in my lounge where if I kicked off my sandals or I kicked off whatever tennies I was wearing at that moment in time they could go away now that it's not permanently away I have shoe storage in my um the porch but I don't know about you, I don't sit around with something on my feet, but then I do put something on my feet when I'm walking around the house. And I don't wear slippers because they're too hot. I wear sandals like Birkenstocks. So I've ended up with like a little collection of sandals and, and, and slip-ons and they look a mess. And every so often I take them all back out to the porch <laughs> and then I walk around going, I've got nothing to put on my feet. And then they all gradually move back in again. So I thought, Let's cut to the chase, just have a few pairs, the house shoes, the ones that I wear wandering around, like I say, um, that can live in the front room. But I need some sort of box to put them in or basket. And I looked at lots of things and they were very expensive. So I thought, B&M, let's go and have a look. Now this only comes in this mustardy colour, which I quite like. It's kind of somewhere between a gold and a mustard. I quite like. But if I decide that it doesn't work, I'm going to paint it, spray paint it, black or grey. It was 15 pounds, no, 14.99, 15 pounds, 14.99. I'll open it up so I can show it to you. I haven't actually seen one built, but 14.99, because I was looking everywhere and everything was so expensive. So it has this round bottom, looks like concertina, that will take quite a few pairs of sandals. I actually have a spot in the room where it can sit. Let's just put this next to me. And then a lid. I don't think this one is strong enough. Yeah, no. I wouldn't advise anyone to sit on it. Now, they do do stronger ones. They had a nice square one in grey for £30 that could be sat on. This one I don't think could be sat You could put a cup on it or whatever, but I wouldn't advise anyone to sit on it unless they were very small. Like, I mean, my grandkids maybe could. But I don't need the seating. I need the storage. So let me just... I can pick it up now. It's not perfectly round yet, but can you see... It needs pushing out inside a little bit, but I'm really pleased with that. I think that will do exactly what I need it to do. And then I shouldn't have any more, I mean, expensive disasters. Why does it always go for the good woolens and the, the good shoes? Anyway, so that was what I went for. I also went for more of these. Now, if you remember my, one of my last B&M hauls, I picked up this, which is a zippable storage box. It's like a vinyl. It's got this grey and gold uh, pattern on it. I got another one of that one. And they also has it in plain white. And this one, which has got pink uh, leopard print 
on it. They're £3.99 each. Now, I got one to try for storage for the dairy, but actually, I decided it was too flimsy for the things I keep in the dairy because it's quite soft. But what it is amazing for, and I've already done it with the original one, is I've started going through all my old bed linen, lots of bedspreads and things like that that I don't want to get rid of, that are really nice. And at one time, I've paid a bit of money for when we've lived in a different house and the colour scheme has been green let's say or, or pink um and i hang on to them and what i've started doing is getting them out shaking them out giving them a nice wash freshening them up drying them and then i'm going to store them in these on the shelves in the cupboards because i don't have an airing cupboard i don't have that space where most people keep their bed linen i have to use i've got cupboards in the walls built in the walls but it gets dusty in there and you think well i'm going to make this bed up really nicely for somebody now but how fresh is that bedding? So, I've got three more. As I say, I've got two of the pink and one more of the, the grey and mustardy colour. Um, and I'm gradually going through the bedding. I'm also getting rid of a lot, but I'm gradually going through the bedding. And they were 3 .99. And I like the fact that they zip up and then they go nice and flat if you want them to, you know, if you're using them. Not using them. If you're using what lives in them. <laughs> oh dear, it's going to be one of those, I can tell. Right. I picked up for my book and Mimi a big bag of Scooby Snacks. These are steak sensations. They were £2.99 or two bags for a fiver. I really, I suppose I should have bought the two bags for a fiver because I'd have saved a pound in the long run. But the more I have, the more I tend to give them. And they shouldn't have too many snacks. So I thought, no, I'll get the one. I'll be sensible. I'm always down there. So it's not as if I'm going to miss out. So, um... Yeah, they love those. So I got those. I did do food shopping in there, guys. I got Liam Perrins. We use Liam Perrins, or I use Liam Perrins a lot in this house. I use it a lot in sauces, a lot in marinades. And the real Liam Perrins Worcestershire sauce, I do think, tastes different to off-brand Worcestershire sauce. This was £2.09, which I think is a great price. I had to have it. I got two new things. Now, I've never seen these before. I'm just going to check that because I'm pretty sure they're 99 pence each, but I am going to check. They were 199, not 99p. I knew there was a 99 in there somewhere. Skinny sauces. So this one is unicorn flavour, bubblegum and candy floss flavour syrup for on ice creams. Um, it's called skinny syrup because it's virtually zero. It does have sweetness in it. So if you're sensitive to sweetness, it's not going to work. But there are occasions, just occasions, when it's nice to have a little drizzle of something. Also with the kids, you know, we try and keep things down. But my daughter in particular loves syrup on items. She is dieting. She will love this. So I got her the unicorn one for £1.99. And then I got for me the skinny syrup in maple. I love maple syrup and butter. Oh... And of course, Pancake Day is coming up. So I thought, I'm going to give it a go. Now, I know it's probably going to taste a little artificial compared to real maple syrup, which is my absolute favourite. But if it's enough just to, you know, just to scratch that itch, I don't want to go buy a big bottle of maple syrup because I will eat it all. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let you know how these go because sometimes these things are awful and then sometimes you find, um, you know, alternatives and they're not bad. So there we go, £1.99 each unicorn or maple syrup picked up two of these harpic um it's the power plus citrus fresh 10 times better than bleach i really rate this stuff um it's a pound a bottle at the moment in there i don't know what it is everywhere else maybe that's just the general price but i really rate this one we get a lot of lime scale here um it's i'm in a hard water area i've never had toilets like it never um that sounds awful saying I've never had toilets like it. But honestly, I've, I've never lived in such a hard water area as here. Um, I, it's a constant battle to keep porcelain, you know, your sink, your bathroom sink, all of those things clean to stop, you know, your taps, the ends of your taps, you get all that lime scale build up. I'm constantly fighting it. I've never <laughs> had such a problem. Um, so I'm always buying that stuff. So I bought two for the two main... Um, toilets and bathrooms that we use the one downstairs and the one in our bedroom not in our bedroom <laughs> the one next to our bedroom <laughs> i don't have a toilet in my bedroom honestly girls haven't seen these before 
Miracle Whitening Sheets. Now, you know I'm always mucking around with my laundry. But I've got the black ones, which are good, by the way. I've got the black ones. They're very good. And I usually use a colour saver, is it called? Or something, you know, you put the sheets in and it'll catch if anything runs. But it doesn't always work as well as I'd like it to. And I've got the odd thing that should be glowing white. And it's just that touch, you know? Um, you can bleach them, and I do bleach them. I also use, use things like, you know, Vanish and, and all of that sort. But I saw this. This was a pound for 20 sheets. You put it in the washing machine. You put your normal detergent in. You put the thing in that you want to be white, and it should come out really white. Because it does say remarkable white reviving action it's effective against dye transfer tea fruit juice yellowing blood mildew and more so if the black ones work why not occasionally do a really white one i'm gonna give it a go for a pound i picked up some fragranced swing bin liners these were two pounds for 25 they're not huge but you know what i use these for Again, it's for storage, it's for in the dairy. You know, like those nice lampshades. I'm not sure where I'm gonna use them, but I'm keeping them because I do like them a lot and I know they will work. I'm gonna put them in one of these. These are lightly fragranced. I don't really mind whether they're fragranced or not. These happen to be, they're called fresh linen. I can't smell it through the packet. Let's have a sniff, shall we? Let's have a, let's get it open. Well, wow. I can't smell that. And I've got a pretty good sense of smell. But I can't smell fresh, fresh linen. But what I will say is they don't smell like plastic. You know, sometimes black bags and things like that, they really pong. They don't smell of that. So yeah, I use this. If I've got something that's a little bit big and it's a fabric, a, particularly like a lampshade or something, I put them in these because you can see what it is, but it completely protects them from all the dust and the yuck. So um, yeah, 25 for two pound, maybe not the best value, but... I thought because they were scented it might be nice but honestly I can't smell a scent on that at all. I picked up for my daughter some um, paper baking cases. She's got a real thing going on at the moment. She's really baking obsessed. She started doing cakes and muffins and things like that and taking them down to um, her hubby's workshop for um, all the staff. It's one of her little things and I saw these they were 149 for 36 but they're really pretty paper cases and I just thought she'll love that i'll pop that in i picked up some command hooks these are small stainless steel they've got them with um oh what are those you know for lifting things up the oven with like an oven glove um i bought these was 3.99 i think i said i don't know if i said it but i'm saying it now i did buy one of these suction ones because what i want this for is for my looper etc in my shower i don't want to drill into the tiles because i'm not entirely convinced where i want it um and stainless steel so often goes rusty and then you have to replace it and you've got to try and get the same one to fit the same space so i bought one of those suction ones and in fact i think i bought it at b&m well it's never worked for me the dang thing every two minutes is pinging off the wall it's driving me wild so i saw these and i thought a couple of those because they're not heavyweight the things that i'm putting on there and it might answer the problem and of course because it's command damage free to remove i picked up two pairs of my baby laura girl pajamas they were only three pounds each which is really good now they're not famous characters i mean this one is a little unicorn with little can you see the little blue trousers in there they're so cute and this one is all rainbows and hearts what does that say uh always dreaming always dreaming. but three pounds for a pair of pajamas is very very good value and she's had a little bit of a growth spurt has our baby um she's just turning 18 months but she's really fitting two-year-old clothes so comfy pajamas for three pounds why not Put some some little hair bobs for her as well while we're on the subject She's going through hair bobs at such a rate. She's just got enough hair now that we, we put it in a, you know, in a bobble. She pulls them out. She loses them all over the place. And even worse, the dog seems to eat them. Their dog, not mine, seems to eat them because we're going through them at a heck of a rate. So these are a pound for eight. And they've got really pretty little things on them, like strawberries, little smiley cloud, rainbows. Oh, they were cute. They were worth a go. And I picked up for my grandsons 
jam and cream biscuits. This is their absolute favourite. These were on offer. They were 36 pence a packet. And the kids love them. They pull them apart. A bit like, um, you know, you see films and Americans do it with Oreos. And they, they twist them and take them apart. That's what the kids do with the jam and cream. So the, the jammy biscuit bit and then the creamy biscuit bit. Um, I saw them. They were a good price. And I just popped them in the trolley for the boys. I picked up two bottles of fairy liquid. I like the uh, lime and lemongrass, the anti back one. These were a pound each. They're not the biggest bottles in the world. But <laughs> I ran out of washing up liquid. I would never have thought that that was possible in my house because I'm always ahead of the game on products. But thinking about it, my daughter ran out and I gave her my spare. Now that was fine because I had half a bottle left. I thought, not a big deal, plenty of time. I came into the house uh, yesterday went to wash some dishes up I've been roasting some pork chops went to scrub the dishes and I was like where's the washing up liquid gone couldn't find it anywhere I thought this is really bizarre what is going on well it was my nick last time that we had a problem with our um toilets a plumber came out and said because we had a septic tank and so on he said you know it'd be a good idea if every few flushes every few days we would put a couple of drops of a washing up liquid into the toilet and you sort of semi flush don't completely flush just semi flush so it's pushed into the is it s bend it's called or something and it'll help cut through grease and, and so on and we've been doing this well <clears throat> We do have a dodgy toilet here and I know which one it is and I know why it is. It's because at one time it swallowed one of those rim blocks. You know the things in plastic? One day it was there and the next it was gone. So really it needs to be snaked and get it out. But we haven't got around to that yet and nobody's ever said anything. But occasionally it gets really slow. My husband had used the bathroom and decided this is really slow this bowl is emptying really slow so he went in the kitchen he got my fairy liquid and he put half a bottle down the toilet he didn't do the semi flush <laughs> and then he flushed properly the bubbles that came out of my toilet you've never seen anything like it in your life it was like a foam party in the downstairs loo fortunately everything in there's tiled so it's not the end of the world and it was the anti back kind but that's where it went and then he didn't tell me he said oh, you were bound to have some in the cupboard and i said well yeah normally but not this time so one to be using one for the cupboard it's not happening again and he is banned from playing with my toilet <laughs> they've got some really good sales going on at the moment in BM. I know we're not supposed to be going out but if you are if you feel well enough and you can they do have some great sales going on at the moment and a lot of new products and new colors in I really enjoyed it I'm, I'm having to restrain myself but mm, I think I might not gonna be for very long anyway this was in the sun I looked at this when it was full price it was three pounds it's just a little gold dish but it's shaped like a it's a leaf of some description gingo leaf it's a gingo leaf but i looked at them several times and thought i don't really have an excuse for that to spend three pounds but it was one pound fifty so i'm afraid i bought one and then i went round the corner and this one wasn't in the sale but this was new this was three pounds and look at the color on that again it's a gingo leaf I love it look at that teal color this is me all over this sort of color I saw it I couldn't not have it three pounds you know just sit a few little things maybe put if that was a candle maybe sit a candle on it I don't know but I had to have it a couple more food bits I picked up a couple of these I don't normally use um, sachet mixes it's not really a big thing that I do but very occasionally i'm out of something you know i'm big again because of lockdown so parsley sauce i like that with gammon i have that quite a lot with gammon um, and normally i make it with fresh parsley if i remember ahead but the other day i hadn't remembered ahead 
didn't have one of these, so I couldn't have my parsley sauce. I was a bit, nah. I did a cheese sauce, which was nice, but I prefer parsley. And when I was a girl, my mum always used sachets. My mum's not um, a particularly adventurous cook. She would never have thought of buying parsley and making one. So I picked up one of those, and I also picked up a chili con carne mix, because again, how much more simple can this be? So these were 49 pence each, um, and I just got the two. It's just store cupboard for you know for those days when you're just struggling to think of something from an ex mask monday look at that you know i had complete failure with the leopard print turban with the diamante well look at that it's not a turban it's a band but look they're calling it bunny ears i'm not sure if they're bunny ears i think they're a little bit more like piggy ears myself but it was one pound 69 it's soft it's cute and it's a bit of a laugh so yeah it had to go in the trolley again for my daughter again because of all this baking and cooking that she's really getting into at the moment i'm sort of helping her stock her kitchen a little better she has the smallest kitchen it's um, a kitchen diner and it is small she doesn't have that many cupboards and of course they're crammed full because you can't have anything out with the kids and i saw this it's a colander and a mixing bowl so i'll, I'll take it apart so you can see it, it cost me three pounds take it apart so you have this one which is a great mixing bowl it even has measurements inside so on this side you've got cups you probably can't see it on here but it's marked cups and on this side it has liters so that's for mixing things that i mean can't be broken great and then you have a colander that works the way you'd expect a colander to work but they then whoops, snugly nest together i think that's great it's a good thing for her so yeah i splurged three pounds again in a special buy selection because there is a lot in their special buy and sale and so forth they were selling these mugs for one pound fifty and i just thought they were lovely i'd have paid more i only got two because i like I don't have matching mugs. I'm not a matching mug kind of person. I usually just have a couple of various sorts and yeah, just when my mood strikes, it could be flowers, it could be an animal, or it could be plain. I thought this was lovely. It's a really pretty shade of green. It's got like leaves embossed on it. One pound 50, I bought two. Speaking of which, it's a good job I did. <laughs> Cause my husband, Nick, came to see me this morning and said I was having a drink of my coffee and I think I've broken a bit of my tuff and I said oh my goodness show me show me and he held out his finger with what he thought was a piece of his tooth on it it wasn't at all it was a white porcelain mug and he'd smacked it and it had chipped a piece off so it was a piece of chipped porcelain that he found in his mouth from a from a mug because he is a klutz and we do go through mugs at yeah quite a rate we're nearly there I got myself some Ferrero Rochers. I love them. And since I had them at Christmas, well, they've just been on my mind. So I picked myself up a box for the weekend. Oh, they were £4.50, by the way. And then I picked up for mum some Fry's chocolate cream. Had to be done. She's, you know, I haven't talked about mum lately, have I? She's doing really well. She had a very, very bad cold. She was really quite poorly throat the whole lot and we were thinking oh gosh is this it but she's had the vaccine so we didn't think it could be anything more than a cold and sure enough it was but well she's at that age now where a cold can the common cold can really sort of knock off a six so um yeah I do little treats like this morning I, I went out and I got her I went to Sainsbury's because as I say <laughs> I go out and I do quite a bit of shopping and I do sensible shopping as well as not so sensible shopping. But this morning in St. Louis, I got her a moussaka, I got her a really nice fresh loaf. I got, you know, I get a few bits and pieces in just to try and keep her appetite going and keep, because that's the thing. She's at that age where they go, oh, just have a cup of tea and a biscuit, love. And it's like, no, you have to eat a meal. And she does love fries, chocolate cream. So there we go. I meant to say the fries, chocolate cream for three was a pound. I picked up, of course, a crystal. You guys are going to be really bored with me eventually. You're going to be like, oh my God, she always buys the same things. I don't, but there are certain things I love. And this stuff rocks, 89p. Of course I got it. I picked up two packets of paracetamol caplets. I'm getting a lot of headaches at the moment. I'm trying to adjust to these new contact lenses. 
it's not great i have to say i'm back at the opticians um a week saturday and i'm hoping that by then they'll have settled because it says it can take up to two weeks for them to settle and at the moment i'm almost a week in and i'd like to say i'm doing better but i'm getting such terrible headaches at the minute so I picked up two packets um they were really cheap something like 36p let me just check mm. 29p a pack um to our foreign american and, and other country sisters you'll be bemused to find this is the maximum that we're allowed to buy in one go which is 16 16 32 tablets 32 caplets uh, because they don't trust us not to try and um, do away with ourselves. We can't buy the nice big tubs. That's why whenever my brother comes over to visit, <laughs> he brings half a pharmacy with him because we, we put in our orders for a tub of paracetamol. But anyway, so I've got some of those. We're nearly there now. I picked up my husband a tape measure. It's a uh, Rolson value. It costs £2.50. It's nice and big and heavy. It's um, 25 foot or 7.5 metres. For £2.50, that's good. It's a nice one. I love the fact that it's bright yellow. This is going to go in his room. The times he walks around the house is very rare. He doesn't do any DIY. I want to say that. He doesn't have a toolkit. He doesn't own a hammer. I own all these sorts of things, but he doesn't. But every so often, he wants to measure a space to see if something will fit. He then walks around the house saying, Have you got a tape measure? Have you got a tape measure? Where's the tape measure? And of course, I'll tell him where the tape measure is, but it never goes back. So the next time he wants it, I don't know where it is. And I have to start looking for it. It drives me mad. So I'm giving him, I'm making him a present of his own bright yellow tape measure. that can live in his room. So when he wants to measure something, he can do it himself. Aren't I generous? I'm all heart me. Along with my daughter's baking and cooking, the kids like to decorate them. This was only a pound, which I thought was good value. And it has four different kinds of sprinkles. So this has sort of unicorns, because it's called unicorn sprinkles, the normal ones that we all, whoops, we all know. Then it's got the sugar strands, and then it's got the pearls. Um, for a pound, I think that's really good value. And as I say, this is what the boys like to do. Well, Lara likes to too, but she eats as much as she, you know, she's and she doesn't have the dexterity yet. But so we put these into a bowl and we let the kids decorate the cakes. Last few things is some plants. Now, I am mad keen on supermarket plants. I know a lot of people poo poo them, but the value for money is phenomenal. So I picked up because their gardening section was just going up today. There were lots of, um, you know, garden chairs and um, weed killer, you know, the whole, they're doing a whole aisle. Um, but they had a few of these things. So I grabbed them real quick because I really, really rate them. I've had great success with these things before. So first up, I picked up an Astib. I love Astib. I'm never quite sure if that's how you say it. It is only one plant. You know, it's the ones where it comes in a bag plant it um, this was a nasty i picked up uh, a peony alexander fleming again one plant in there um but i love peonies i mean, they're so amazing too it's a shame they don't have a smell because they really are i think one of the prettiest flowers around um i also picked up oh a calla lily i love calla lilies some people hate them i know but i love them so a calla lily and i picked up another peony and this one is called bowl of beauty they were all 2 a plant and I think that's really good because here it's quite mild. I know some people are really suffering, aren't they? They've got snow and they've got floods. I mean, we are in a flood area, but I'm up high. Um, but it's up to sort of six and seven degrees. I've got snowdrops everywhere. The daffodils are just about to come through. So any day now I can start putting these out. Um, it actually doesn't say when you can plant them. Oh yes, it does. Planting date, January to May. So anytime. So if every time I go in, I pick up a few because I've got a lot of planting still to do in the garden. I think it's a never ending story, really, the planting in my garden. But that was it. That was B&M. And strangely enough, after doing my 90 pounds in um, Poundland, I did 91 pounds and 88 in B&M. But I will be going back and here's why. You know I did my spare bedroom, my daughter's bedroom, I cleaned it, you all saw it, and I wasn't happy when I finished, and I realised how dark that green was. Well, it's been tick tick tickling, <laughs> it's 
been ticking over, not tickling, ticking over in my head and I've been thinking I'd like to change it, but I don't know how and I'm, I just didn't want to go plain again. Well, I saw this wallpaper and I love it, ladies. I think I might be mad, but I love it. Look, it's elephants. Isn't that just, well, I hope you think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. It's $14.99 a roll. It has a soft cream background. Obviously the elephants are grey, but what I love about them, they've got a like a pinky peach tinge in the elephant. I think that would really lighten the room up and be quite, you know, I, I like slightly unusual things. I have curtains, which I think would work really well with this, that have pink and grey and so on on them. And then I could get all new bedding in this beautiful peachy pink colour, which strangely enough, they have a lot of. It's one of their colours for this year. The bedding is, mm, it's so nice, and the cushions. So I'm going to put this on the wall, a bit of blue tack, in my daughter's room and sort of just get a feel see what i think i think it'll look amazing in the spare room make sure those curtains do work they're a kind of geometric pattern i think the contrast of the geometric and the very natural organic i think will work i'm really excited but it meant i was in there for quite a while as i say 14.99 a roll if i do think it's right i will be getting it and i will be showing you i will be wallpapering and i will be tricking out that room so i will be back in bnm buying all these new wonderful colors so that was me I had a nice day um everything's going pretty well here i hope it's going well where you are and i will see you all again really really soon okay bye guys